Well, good evening, good evening, good evening. <clears throat> this is the Minister Marquise L. Kimball coming to you live uh, just to give you guys an update on this situation that we are dealing with with State Farm Fire and Casualty Company. Uh, I do have some great news to share with you guys uh, throughout this whole six-month process of us uh, waiting for the results through the Ohio Department of Insurance. We, although I'm not excited about all of the results that they did give us, I am excited that we did get it to the place where the former agent that represented State Farm Fire and Casualty Company, Jeff Lambert, who also was the agent for our corporation, the HCV Distribution Corporation, has been referred to the Enforcement Division of the Ohio Department of Insurance, which is very serious. If you look up anything about the Enforcement Division, then you can see that they will enforce uh, consumers' rights. Uh, they can impose fines. They can revoke licenses. There's all kinds of things that can happen. We have uh, irrefutable evidence that Jeff Lambert practiced in unlawful, unfair, unethical practices by sharing our corporate information with a person by the name of Deborah McSurley. We have the evidence based upon what he said under oath uh, we have the evidence based upon what she said under oath that they were having discussions with each other. And this is highly, highly, highly inappropriate for your agent uh, that represents you to be discussing any matters concerning your insurance policy uh, or your, uh, uh, you know, even your financial matters with anybody else without your written consent. And this is very serious because this guy was at one point uh, our former agent for our corporation, the HCV Distribution Corporation. So although this has all been going on in the last 90 days, we have documented evidence of several different employees from different positions, different uh, areas of the United States, but they all work for State Farm visiting our social media platforms. Now, this is highly inappropriate, especially when I don't have a relationship or neither does any of the members of our corporation with any other person at State Farm besides Mr. Jeff Lambert. So at this point, this is becoming harassment, stalking, and we're documenting this evidence so we can share this with the proper authorities. So today I'm gonna to share my screen with you guys and just share with you the most recent visit by an employee from State Farm to our social media platforms. And you guys have to tell me if this is in, uh, inappropriate or would you be wondering if this is inappropriate if this was you now on my platform linkedin i'm a premium member because i'm a premium member i'm able to click the premium features and click on social profile viewers and when i do this i can click on companies and right there click state farm and show results now in the past 90 days we have had over 29 different visitors to this, my personal LinkedIn page. Now, this is inappropriate, especially when we have all these unresolved complaints that have been lodged with not only the Ohio Department of Insurance, but the Ohio Civil Rights Commission. Uh, I mean, the, the list goes on with the places that we have lodged these serious allegations and violations of our rights and our privacy. So this is, again, very inappropriate. Uh, but just nine hours ago, <clears throat> there was an agent team member, Mr. David R. Flatman, when you click on his profile, it takes you right to where he works at, State Farm. It shows that he viewed our, my profile. Uh, it says that he's an agent team member, full-time at State Farm, from February 2024 till the present. So he's worked there for nine months. So again, this is, again, highly inappropriate uh, actions committed by State Farm. And we are not going to stop until we hold these guys accountable for this. You cannot get away with this. This is an invasion of privacy at this point. Uh, at this point, we, you're, you're facing pending criminal charges. We've already lodged complaints with the FBI. That's how serious this is to me. I don't know who these people are. Half, some of these people are remote. Some of them work at a location. Some of them are executive members. Some of them are members of management. Some of them are, are field inspectors. I don't know who these people are, but why are you constantly visiting my personal social media platform. That is a problem. That's a problem, especially when we still have unresolved complaints that you continue to disregard. 
We're not going to stop until you're held accountable. State Farm Fire and Casualty Co Company, again, serve this as your final notice. Stop visiting my personal LinkedIn page. Unless you're going to be talking to me about resolving this issue that you have disregarded for over two years, I don't want you visiting my social media pages. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Now, I've notified your attorney. I've notified your executive offices. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here, but at this point, it's harassment. And every single time it's done, we're documenting it. We're keeping evidence of it. And it will be part of our pending litigation that we're going to file by October 31st. So I'm, I'm again, I'm pleading with you, State Farm Fire and Casualty Company, make your employees aware that this serious, a serious violations we're going to proceed against you with in court again. And this time, we're going to point out all of the violations that you have disregarded and ignored, especially this one. I've made this complaint several times to you guys over the last 30 days, and you're still not doing anything about it. And you're not explaining to me why you're having these many different employees visiting my personal LinkedIn page. That's highly inappropriate behavior. And again, we're not going to stop until you're held accountable. I'm the Minister M.L. Kimball. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.